Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this video, it's not going to be too long. I'm basically just going to show you how to use the USB programming cable with uh, many of your radios. Majority of radios um, made now are compatible with this. Um, you can have a look online to see if it is compatible with Chirp and with these USB programming. I mean, I've got a range of radios. I've got a general walkie-talkie from Amazon. 20, 30 quid can be programmed. Kuangsheng can be programmed and the Baofang that most people know can be programmed. Now this is a Baofang USB cable, but it can be used to program multiple different radios. All we're gonna be doing is plugging it in to the microphone and speaker port. So as you can see, each one of these radios has one. And even the Amazon walkie talkie, which for a 20, 30 quid cheap walkie talkie is very impressive. So the first thing before anything, um, we're gonna download the software. So when we are plugging in the walkie talkie, what you wanna do is you wanna take your radio, turn it on, <clears throat> take the jack, place it inside, really push in. We wanna make sure that it seats in nicely, it's not gonna move. And then this USB end is gonna go into the computer. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you the link to download the driver software, show you where you can download Chirp, and then we'll plug in and we'll start going through that. So let's move over to the computer. Hello everybody, so we are now moved over to the computer. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do before anything is go onto Safari, or Chrome, or Explorer, whatever you use, and you're gonna wanna go onto bofangradio.com slash pages slash download. Once you have got onto this page, it will take you to here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to other and then installation guide of Bofang programming cable and driver. From this position, we're gonna click on it. It's going to download this into a zip file. All you're gonna do is double click installation guide, cable driver, double click and install the driver. Once the driver installed, we're going to go over to Chirp. So on this page, you can either click Chirp for both hang radios or go to chirp.downplanet.com slash project slash chirp. This is the page that's going to load up. Then all we're going to do is press download. Then at this point, we're just going to hit download the latest Chirp build here. We're going to click that. Then we're going to go onto the Windows installer, which is recommended. Then this is going to start to download. Now I've already downloaded it, so I do not need it. Once you've downloaded it and installed it, we're going to open Chirp up. This is what it's going to look like. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get your USB cable. So we have already got the radio plugged into it and turned on on the radio side of the cable. If you've not, don't worry. Do that as we speak as I am right now. So I've just turned the Kuangsheng radio on. And then I am just plugging in the two audio jacks, making sure it's firmly seated. Then all I'm gonna do is take my USB cable and plug that into the computer. Now you can hear that it's been plugged in. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download from radio under the radio tab. So we're gonna click this and then it's gonna ask me for a port. So it usually only shows the port that the USB is in. So if it is not showing, re-download the driver, reinstall it, reboot the computer, just usual stuff. Then we're going to choose the vendor. So for me, it's Kuangsheng. And then we're going to choose the model. For me, it's the UVK5. This is just going to basically warn you to use Chirp at home risk. It is an experimental open source software, blah, blah, blah. It's not the official Kuangsheng programming software, but it's okay if you want to use that instead. It's a similar process. But I'm going to show you how to use Chirp. Now, all we're going to do is hit OK. We're going to hit Do Not Prompt because I'm not interested. And hit OK again, so we're now downloading from the radio. Right, now we are downloaded from the radio. The first thing you can see is Memories. So you can see the first set of channels that I have inputted. If I want to add some more channels, all you need to do is click on the square and start filling out one by one. The next thing is the settings. So then you can go through all the settings, check all the different settings, change stuff to how you want them to be, 
programmable keys, all that kind of stuff. It's as simple as that. There's not a lot to this video. It's only a short video, but hopefully it helps. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.